back y'all. I'm back y'all. I'm back it back to back back y'all. What's up y'all? Okay, so today I thought I would talk about something that I think is a lot of times not talked about and something that is taboo to some people and just it's, it doesn't sit right with some people and share my insight and experience with it and to get your feedback on it. Um, so by the title, you already know, I'm talking about therapy. And I thought that I would talk about this because I recently started back going and um, Anthony and I started back going and um, so far so good. It's, it's still new, but from the first impression that we got of our therapist, we really liked her. And yes, it was a woman. Um, but I thought, I was just thinking like so many people, especially us, okay, black folk, think that it's almost like, I don't know if they're, they just don't want people in their business because you know, a lot of black people have that mindset of, I don't want nobody in my business. I'm not telling people my business will stay in this house, gonna stay in this house, will sit in this house or done in this house is gonna stay in this house type of stuff. So... I think that might be a part of it, and that's just how some of us are raised, you know. But um, as I've gotten older and dealing with it in the past and experiencing it from a younger age, I've grown to love it and enjoy it and appreciate it. So, you know, um, I didn't take too well with my mom and dad not being together. My parents were never married, um, and they split up shortly after, I think my mom said I was two or something like that. So I always, it was always, I live with my mom, I go visit my dad type of situation. And um, I guess one day I was just fed up and I said, fuck it, I'ma just have a fit, you know. So I guess I flipped out in school and it's crazy because my mom and I were just talking about this, which is kind of why I wanted to touch on this subject. Um, I flipped out in school. I don't know why, I think I just, I think my mom said I was telling people, all type of shit like nobody loves me you know I don't want to go home because my daddy doesn't love me my mom doesn't love me you know some dramatic ass shit like as a five-year-old I think I was five like literally I was a kid and so it kind of concerned the teachers and shit so you know they called my mom and they told her what happened and she like you know tear did that like what you know so she ended up making me an appointment with a psychiatrist and she didn't know at the time that it was a psychiatrist. She thought that, I guess she just thought it was a therapist. I don't know, but she she said this out of her own mouth. She said that the word psychiatrist, it didn't even sit right with her. She said she almost kind of was mad. Like, I think she said something about she was trying to either set up an appointment or something. And she said they looked in the system and, and um, saw that I had already spoken to someone, a psychiatrist, and my mom was like, no, she hadn't, no, she hasn't been to a psychiatrist, you know, she just went to counseling or something, and they're like, yeah, with the psychiatrist, my mom's like, no, you know, it's just, it was the word, it, she didn't, she didn't want to associate that word with her child, because I think a lot of times people think that psychiatrist, or I'm going to therapy, it means you fucked up, it means something wrong. Well, yeah, something probably is wrong, but it don't mean you crazy. It don't make you less of a person, you know. So that's what, that's why I wanted to talk about this with y'all. So, um, I've been going to therapy from a younger age, and it's not been continuous. I ain't been going for years on end or nothing like that. I went because of that incident when I was five. And, um, you know, growing up, you go through things. And I think my mom asked me around the time I was a teenager, so... Okay, we're going to say I went at five and then I didn't go back until maybe like 14 or 15 because I was still dealing with having to go to my dad and having to stay with my mom. You know, the visiting, to, the, the visitation type thing. It was, it was messing with me. So I think my mom ended up asking me, do you want to go and talk to somebody? And I think I told her, yeah. So I went back around 14 or 15 years old and then I didn't go again. I don't believe I didn't go again until... I got married and um, the pastor who married us pastor Gates he wanted to do a session with us even though that's a different type of session but it's still it could still be therapy okay for some folk it could still be therapy and it was um, 
he wanted to do a session with us before he married us because he wanted to see the couple that he was marrying. I think I talked about this before in my married young video. Maybe I didn't, but he wanted to see the couple that he was marrying. So, you know, he gave us a little insight on it and he knew we were young when we got married. So he was just talking about that. And But he really liked us and he's still rooting for us. He strongly roots for us. So, um, I, I, I've done it in phases in my life and now I'm back in it and actually when we were in North Carolina I was in it um Anthony and I and I know you probably some people probably like well why was they both in it it's nothing necessarily wrong it's just I have the belief and I don't know where I got this from to be perfectly honest maybe it's because I already had experience with therapy but in a relationship you don't wait. Look at it this way. You don't wait until the ship is sinking to say, let me get a bucket and start throwing water over. It's already going down. It's, it's, it's done. It's going down. So how about my husband and I are thinking of, we sail in the seas. Sometimes it's going to be some rough patches, okay? But the rest of the time it may be cool. So it don't matter if it's a rough patch or a, a cool sail, a smooth sail. It's nice to have somebody to talk to. So it's nothing necessarily wrong. Like me and Anthony love each other. We're not, you know, we're not on the verge of no divorce or nothing like that. I don't want y'all to think that. But this will be our second time going to therapy. And we try to tell, I try to tell other people who are in relationships, especially marriages, don't wait till it's too late. That's what a lot of people do. For one, they don't want to go. And then for two, they wait until so much shit has happened that it's too late. You know, like, what is therapy going to do? And then you want somebody to be able to fix you in one session. That's not going to happen. It's just not. So, um, don't wait until it's too late. If you see that y'all have little spats about this or, you know, y'all have disagreements about that, that's something that you can go to therapy for. Now, if you feel like, nah, I don't need to go to therapy for nothing no small like that, Maybe you want to wait until it's something big that didn't happen. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to wait until it's something big. Because you know what? Therapy teaches you a lot. It teaches you how to communicate with others. And, you know, I feel like I'm a good communicator. I, I love talking to people. But sometimes, you know what therapy uh, specifically taught me and Anthony, Anthony and I? Is that sometimes people can hear you. But they aren't listening. So you need to learn how to communicate so that they hear you and they're listening to you. And um, people sometimes don't know that. And we got married young. So it's a lot of stuff that we didn't know. And it's a lot of stuff that it's helped us with and taught us and we appreciate it, you know. So... I think I just wanted to, you know, touch on that and explain why I'm in it, why we're in it, why I've been in it. Um, and it's been other events that I've been to therapy by myself, you know. And um, but then we we will go together, you know. And Anthony never had a problem with it. That's one thing that I can say, and I'm so thankful of. I'm glad that I don't have a husband who was like, nah, I ain't going to no damn therapy. I ain't about to go talk to no lady, you know, or go talk to no, I ain't about to go talk to nobody, tell them my shit, you know. Because a lot of, like I said, us, black folk, for one, don't want to go, and then specifically black men. So, you know, talk to your spouse. And if it's, I feel like this, if it's something that you will and that you wish, if they truly appreciate you and love you, they will take that into consideration. Okay, she really wanted to do this. Let me see what this shit is about. Let's go to one session and see. And damn it, by all means, if you go to that first session and you don't like that person, don't go back. If you're not vibing with the per person, you don't like what they're saying, don't go back. Because not all therapists know what the fuck they're doing. I'm going to just be real. They don't. I've been fortunate enough, though, these last two that I have, the one that we have now and the one that I had in North Carolina, the one that I have now sounds like she's going to be a really good fit for us. The one I had in North Carolina, I know for a fact she was a perfect fit for us. That woman was excellent. And yes, it's been women each time. And Anthony never had a problem with that. I wouldn't have been um, uh, opposed to going to a man. But 
I don't know. I probably just gravitated more towards women because I'm a woman, I guess. I don't know. But my husband never had a problem with it, so that's what we've been doing. But, um, you know, not all of them know what they're talking about. Not all of them know what they're doing. So if you feel like, mm, I ain't really vibing with them. I don't really like what they was talking about, their suggestion. Find somebody else, damn it. Put the work in. And I know a lot of you, you know that a relationship, especially a marriage, is hard work. It's a full-time job. You don't, ain't no days off. You have to work at it. So damn it. Me, I feel like, look at it like this. Me and Anthony, us going to therapy, that's us putting overtime in on our marriage, okay? It's a full-time job, but we putting overtime in because we want to make it work. We want, we want to make it, see it prosper and grow, you know? So, I think that's it. I didn't want this to be real long. I just wanted to express to you guys why I'm going. And maybe me telling you why I'm going and that I've been going, maybe it'll help some of y'all go. You know, if you've been dealing with some issues and you do things in your own time. If you got some stuff that you know, like, damn, I got some baggage I need to unpack. But... Maybe it ain't the first couple of sessions you'll do that. It might take six or seven sessions or something like that for you to be able to talk to the person about that. But you do it in your own time. But if you're talking, you're getting somewhere. That's something. You know what I'm saying? So y'all think on that. Anybody that's ever just kind of thought negatively of it or looked at it. And if you have thought negatively of it or just didn't like it or you don't understand why people do it, let me know down below why. Why? What, why do you, what's your negative thought? Have you had a negative experience? Because like I said, therapists are people too. What if you just got an asshole as a therapist? Period, point blank. Find somebody else. You get what I'm saying? Don't give up. Because this is to benefit you as a person. It's only going to help you grow and help you, you know, prosper in life. And, um, you know, it's just, I, I think it's a really good thing. I enjoy going. I should have when I should have been with probably when we first got here um because I was dealing with a bunch of shit when we first moved here so I should have been back in therapy to be honest but I'm here now I'm doing it now and um it's good and yeah it was partially I know some people may be embarrassed but it's nothing to be embarrassed about you know don't it's nothing if you don't want to tell people you don't have to you don't have to but here I am talking to y'all strangers but y'all my family you know y'all my followers y'all enjoy me i enjoy y'all so i'm sharing this with you y'all know i try to keep it real as possible so here it is i'm being vulnerable and telling y'all you know some people might be like oh she in therapy the bitch crazy you know but that's not what it is you know i'm explaining to you why i'm going and why i enjoy going and you know my husband enjoys it too he likes he likes it too because he knows that it's only going to benefit us. It's not going to hinder us in any way. So why not? Why not do it? You know? So you think on that. If you, I'm talking to you, you, you. If you ever thought, nah, I don't need to do that. Nah, I don't need to talk to nobody. And you, and you know you got some baggage. Like some people try to ignore their own shit. Some people try to just, you know what, that happened years ago. Fuck that shit. I ain't, ain't going to let it. Brush that off. I ain't going to let it bother me. That shit's still bothering you. And you know it. So quit front. Okay? You. I think that if you feel it in your spirit after watching this, that, okay, Tear doing it so I can do it. You can do it. I'm doing it so you can do it. If you feel it, look some up. I found the lady that I found here on Psychology Today. Go on Psychology Today. Type in your, um, your, your area. Hell, Google works too, but Psychology Today is what I use. Type in your area, type in insurance you have, boom. I get it if you don't have insurance. I don't know how that works. I don't know if you can go to therapy if you don't have no insurance. I don't think you can. Just like your ass don't really want to go to the doctor. But if you do have insurance, damn it, go. Go. What, what you got insurance for? Like, I don't understand. People be having insurance and just don't utilize it. I told y'all I'd go to the doctor if my fucking toenail hurt. As long as I got insurance, I've been without insurance before. My mom had lost her job, and we was all without insurance. You hear me? I know what that's like when you really can't go to the doctor except for when it's an emergency. So, damn it, we got insurance. I'm going if I got a sniffle. I'm sick. What the fuck we gonna do about this sniff? You know, okay? But anyways, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. 
Um, I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. And I'm not judging nobody. If you don't believe in it and you don't want to go, then that's fine. But don't judge me either for going and for believing in it and thinking that it's been helpful. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge other people. Put yourself in their shoes, you know. So, I think you should try it. And um, if you start it, if you decide after watching this video, I'm going to sign up and I'm going to go see somebody. If you actually do go see somebody, come back and tell me. Like, you know what? I started therapy such and such or I'm a, I made my appointment and I'm going to go on such and such. I would really love to see that. How many people going to actually go? Or how many people could just share with me down below who's in therapy now? If you feel comfortable. You don't have to tell me why. I don't. I don't need to know all of that. I don't. I know you may not. And if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. But feel free to tell me down below. Y'all know I respond to almost every comment. I try to. I try to respond to every person. So, um, you know, let me know down below. Do you like it? Has it helped you? You know, let me know all of that. But um, I just hope this touches somebody and I hope this reaches somebody and lets them know that it's nothing wrong with doing it. And more than likely, nine times out of ten, everybody dealing with something. So nine times out of ten, you probably do need to talk to somebody and it probably would benefit you. So that's why we're here and we're talking. But enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and get into the song of the day. And I'm going to be of the day. Hey, hey. Okay? So this song, didn't even know that this song was old, y'all. This this came out in like, when this came out? Let me let y'all know. 2015. Did not know. I don't know why I thought this song was new. I thought it was new. I did. But this is my shit. Okay, you know what? Let me say this. Y'all know I like all music, but I'm more of a R&B, hip hop kind of chick. Okay, that I want to say that's my favorite genre. I fucks with R&B, and it always, you know what? Now that I think about it, somebody told me this a long time ago when I suggested some songs. They was like, okay, so you like nasty stuff. And I guess I do. I guess all R&B is thinking about nasty stuff, okay? I don't care what y'all say. Don't judge me, okay? Judge yourself. So, that's 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 my song of the day. I fuck with that song. I can listen to that song every day. I thought this was a new song. It is not. It's old. But it's on my playlist and I listen to it at least once daily. I have been listening to it for the past like three weeks. That song just do something to me. It's just, ooh. Come and spend my day with me, okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's it for the song of the day. And the movie of the day is based off of a book that I did not read. So if some of y'all read this book and watched the movie, let me know. But the movie is True to the Game. I didn't read the book. But I personally thought the movie was good. So y'all know they don't do justice for the movies like they do the books. Like the books be having everything. So I feel like I should go and read the book. But y'all, I was mad at the end, so like, I don't even know if I want to read the book because I don't feel like getting in my feelings all over again. I just, I, 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 I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. It was a good movie though. It was a really good movie. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. True to the Game. It's a really good movie. And um, that's it for today, y'all. That is it. Okay. I hope y'all liked the video and I hope, you know, like I said, it reached at least one person. That is my goal with every single video that it helps one person and usually it helps more than one person. But as long as it reaches one, I'm fine with that. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, okay? Comment down below, like I said. And make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos from me, okay? Oh, one last thing. Y'all let me know. Do y'all like just me having no background right now i'm sitting a different way usually i'm facing that way but do y'all like just the background like this or you know how it used to be when you could see my kitchen kind of or do you like the little um backdrops that i have been doing do y'all like the backdrops or do you like the just the regular background let me know because i'm trying to see what i want to do so y'all let me know it's based on y'all what y'all say but okay i love y'all and i'll see y'all next time okay bye